The Community Health Assessment course, which is the course of the uh, Hoover Department of Global Health at Rollins School of Public Health, is uh, a course that is meant to teach uh, students at Emory, these are graduate students, the public health students, how to acquire these skills to conduct a rapid health assessment, which is the bread, one of those things that are the bread and butter of public health. We reached out to the Hispanic Health Coalition as a community member, as a community partner, and arranged with them to have our students at Emory conduct a rapid health assessment for the organization, which hopefully will provide the organization with very important information about the health of communities, specifically Latino, Hispanic health communities that they serve, and help allow them to prioritize where to serve the community and what things to provide to the community. The partners for the Hispanic Health Coalition of Georgia have always been critical to our work. They bring certain subject matter expertise from a clinical perspective, from a research perspective, from a student perspective, who in board, on board and embed in the field with us. So they may have a specialty to cancers or HIV AIDS, or as we see today in the scenario of mental illness, behavioral illness and addiction. So therefore for us to create our village and to have better health outcomes, we need all of our stakeholders, including the Emory's, the UGA's, the departments of public health and working with teams like CORE to bring it in unison to serve our population better. Emory is committed to civic and community engagement. I'd say that you can see that by most of Emory students being involved in the local community and they are committed to collaborative partnerships with the Atlanta metro area and local partners. Emory University has been a key community stakeholder, very present in the community for a long time. So it's important to have that kind of civic and community engagement to kind of like solidify that participation in the community and also engage with the community in a way that establishes partnerships that last a while and also contribute to improving the well-being of the community. The importance with our partnership between HACDA and Emory is a big deal. You need to find out what the issue is. If you don't know what the issue is, how are you going to fix it? That's what they're doing with their surveys. They're coming, figuring out why people are not, are not seeking the help. There are many, many reasons of why that's not happening. That's why we need them. And once we get that, we can move forward and, you know, give them the help they need. Um, on one hand, it's really important for me, who's currently living in Atlanta, to be able to contribute and collaborate to the Atlanta community. And secondly, I think in my public health training, a lot of the classes I've taken have been great, but they've been very theoretical. And this class allows you to really apply what you've learned and put it into practice with local community organizations. The reciprocal relationship with communities impacts the skills for pu future public health practitioners in a way that is incredibly important. Public health practitioners are meant to be servants to the community, civic servants. And so having a reciprocal relationship when is, there is a taken and, and given in that relationship is essential for a public health practitioner. It is essential that they practice and learn how to have this, those good skills and that also conscience of reciprocal relationships, that, that being the ethos of what they do as public health practitioners.